So I hope you all are in for some beautiful orchid blooms because uh, this is my uh, blooming update for the month of March 2024. So welcome you all uh, to the Orchid Saga. My name is Elkin Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, let's start this uh, blooming update for the month of March. And I'm going to start with this one. This one is, was also in the intro, we just saw. Uh, look at this beauty. I'm so happy that I uh, did re-bloom this one. It has these most beautiful flowers. Absolutely beautiful shape to it. And this is the name tag that goes with this plant. <laughs> so we have two spikes and both of them do carry two blooms on them. And as well, the, these guys, two spikes. And believe it or not, in the back, those are done now. I had another two. So we had uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve flowers on this one. And sadly, they didn't all make it to this blooming update, but still, luckily we have a few that do. Absolutely beautiful. And while I'm here, this is one I did get from Inse. Look at this beauty. It's doing very well. And this is called, it's an Ondontocidium Blossom Falls. It's from the Incas, there's some hairs there. <laughs> So that is this one. Beautiful bloom. And a nice spike there. Let's go over to this side. This is one of the new ones bought in. We just saw, I think, two weeks back, something like that. Or last week, I'm not sure. <laughs> Even, yeah, last week it was. Masdevalia. I will link that video if you want to see me unwrapping some new plants. And like I said, this is a uh, Masdevelia, a yellow one. We have no name for this one. Let's go, whoops, up here. Uh, look at this. <laughs> I, I love them so much. If you're longer on my channel, you know that these are my favorites. The Miltoniopsis. Look at this. What a beautiful, beautiful flower. This is the Her Alexander. And we have a spike to open up. Over here, one is now fully open there with beautiful large flowers and two spikes over here. So yeah, we have quite, quite a lot of them, but these are stunning and the fragrance is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. And a part of this plant is over here and that is also about to bloom. So that is absolutely beautiful, if you ask me. This one is about to open up. Up here it was the first one and you can see it's starting to brown up now. So it's going over. And yeah, that time will come sooner or later. But nonetheless, it's still beautiful. But yeah, there are some spottings on there. That is what, what happens with these. And then we have this beauty over here. Let me see. I can turn the camera a little bit uh, like this. And down here, sadly, some are just going over already, but let me turn it around. We have some fresh blooms here. So beautiful colors together on this one. And this one does have a name. If I forget the names, please let me know if you want to know the name. But this is this is the Anthocidium and surely. Eisler. Yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful blooms. Then over here, this one is going over. Just did a repot it. Also a new one. I bought it in bloom. So hopefully it will now adapt and uh, start growing a new growth. Well, actually it's starting and uh, provide us with some new blooms on that one. Uh, let me quickly check. Yeah, down here. I have also a red Mesdevalia uh, and we have some old leaves, but those are old, old growth, so I should take them out and the plant looks a little bit better, but we have a spike here coming 
and some blooms here. Whoops, I'm sorry for that leaf. This is called Black Velvet. And next to it we have another spike. Let me see if I can turn it around with two, well, a bud and a bloom on it. Beautiful. Very nice dark purple or reddish color. So yeah, soon I need to take these old leaves out like this. There you go. <laughs> Makes the plant look a little bit better. But anyhow, some beautiful blooms. Let's go over here. Another Miltonia. Uh, sorry, Miltoniopsis, of course. <laughs> About to bloom. Not in bloom yet. But this one is... This is also a beauty. And you can see two beautiful spikes. Over here I have another one. With those beautiful blooms. This is something Carla. Let me quickly check. Odontoglossum Carla. Maybe renamed or it has at least something Odonto in it. But I bought it as a, a true Odontoglossum Carla. <laughs> Beautiful, very nice colors on there. And next to it, we have this one. This is a piece of art, a masterpiece. <laughs> I said in my last update, I believe it was in February. It's still beautiful in bloom. Look at these blooms. Stunning. And this is the Alisiara Havanian Nights. Havanian Nights. And that is this one. Then we have this one. It's not doing so well. It's still uh, working on some new roots inside of the pot. So I did cut a spike, but I left a few blooms to enjoy. This is uh, from Equigenra. And the name tag is there. And this is her name. Liz Johnson on Cidium. Liz Johnson. Beautiful. I love this white and yellow combination. Absolutely stunning. I believe they have them still for sale. So now we have a pretty much a pretty uh, good idea, I think, of the, the shape of the blooms, if you are interested in it. Yeah, like I said, beautiful. I, uh, there's something about white and yellow that goes so well together. Then here, I might say red. Beautiful large spike here. And two more spikes over here. As you can see, so this is Orontoglossum Mycei Red. And I have this one for years and years, and it's, uh, it blooms on every single bulb. It has three um, bulbs, and all of them have one spike. But sometimes it does shoot up uh, a few more after blooming the first one, so who knows? But yeah, the color on this and the shape, but especially the color for me did it it's so beautiful so that is this one then we have two over here on sidium types again the white and the yellow <laughs> look at that strange shaped flower but nonetheless beautiful and in the back is the same type but it has some pink in there but these blooms are going over now let me zoom in a little bit so we have a bit of an idea you can see that in that lip is a bit of pink and he has some aphids, sadly. <laughs> but like I said, that one is going over. It's Oncidium uh, Peperea Sunset is that one. And this is the Alba version. Which I really enjoy, both of them. Uh, let's go over here. Oops, yeah, my uh, Psychopsum. Whoops, Psychopsis. That leaf is in a way. <laughs> This bloom sadly just did go over, so yeah, it's done blooming with this. There will be more it's sequential, of course, but we have to wait a little bit longer. Some blooms on my Ludicia. Well, what's uh, left from them? <laughs> but we have a, a few blooms here that it still has some color on them. Let me try to zoom in. There we go. Sorry for the shakiness, but it's very zoomed in, so... Then it's a little bit heavier, the shaky uh, part. These are uh, not in bloom all. Well, this one is hiding the blooms always in here. <laughs> Oops, there we go. 
It's just starting to bloom. And this one, the aphids I love this one. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's a no ID, but it's a very nice bloom. But yeah, it's always hiding those blooms inside there. <laughs> you see, there it goes. Then my slipper orchids, of course. Still doing very beautiful. Pinocchio over here, two blooms. And in the back there you can see the spike on the American hybrids. It is about to open up, but not ready yet. So hopefully for the next blooming update. But these are really loving this spot. They're really growing well. Beautiful leaves on them. Good root systems and then you will get good spikes and beautiful blooms. So that is here and here is a no ID. Beautiful red orange color. On CDM Auto Donto Glossum Cross, I believe, something like that, but I'm not sure, I don't have a name for it. But something uh, in that corner. Let's slowly turn you guys around. Yeah, I think I'm done in the orchid room, so let's go to the greenhouse. Sorry for the noise. So, yes, you guys, it's about time soon. I hope within a couple of weeks I will do my uh, family opsis updates. But almost all of them are now blooming. I still have a few like here and in the back that still need to open up a few blooms. And then they, uh, they are ready, ready for that video. And in that video, if you're new to my channel, I will go over them one by one. So if you are into fails, keep an eye on this channel. It will be uh, on there soon because they are so beautiful and for this uh, blooming updates it just takes too much time to do them all so i like to uh, do one video on them um, and it's it's my best video so far from uh, last year i look at the fells or the fell wall something in that title this is the bronze maiden and apparently i have the one that turns into a bit more yellow and orange but yeah then uh, i will go over them one by one but here we still have some blooms left there. That's not a fail, obviously. That is my anosmen. In this jungle corner over here. I'm sorry for the leaves getting in the way. But yeah. Uh, let me try it from this side. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. So that is over here and it's doing very well. Whoops. The stuff on the floor, where are we? Here we are. There are some blooms, but you can see they are already uh, going over. Sadly, let's uh, turn you around. Let's go, whoops, let's zoom out. I'm sorry for making you dizzy. But yeah, I need to move quite a lot in this video. Rene Marquez, we have one bloom here. You can see also starting to brown up a little bit. So that's a sign for it to go over. This is a uh, white Lacaste. Well, it was white. It's also uh, starting to brown up. It's been in bloom for quite a while. The same goes with this. A few more blooms on the uh, René Marquez flamethrower. And in the back we have this one. This one I did find the name on the Hillbilly Arcus channel. It's in the back there. So I'm going to show it to you <laughs> so you can uh, Try to pronounce it for yourself. I'm sorry for the glare. There it is. So that's a cross with the uh, Epidendrum Rene Marquez flamethrower. You can see the resemblance here pretty well, I think. There you go. With a with Cattleya Free Spirit. So that's the cross. Then, well, yeah, these are going over as well. Some Fanda blooms over here then oops i'm almost forgetting you guys some blooms on this tulumia this is actually a uh, a new branch on this spike look at these colors beautiful and this is probably tulumia tequila sunrise and this epidendrum over here it's a no id is blooming as well beautiful absolutely beautiful so those are here 
Then we have this beauty. First time, Rebloom. At least those spikes here. This is Encyclia uh, Chocolate, a variety of Chocolate. <laughs> so that is this one. Then this is the Epidendrum Green Hornet. I believe it's now also a sickly, uh, these octopus shaped blooms. <laughs> I think they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I believe this might be the first rebloom as well, this one. So that is living there in its corner. Let's try to go back. <laughs> Don't break any Avena roots, because here, uh, Ancelia Africana. I have no name, but I do know it's an Ancelia Africana, of course, but I don't know which one it is. But this one has two beautiful spikes. Look at these beauties. Yeah, you probably saw it in the intro, but you can see this one is big. It's absolutely big. <laughs> Huge, and I have another one there in the back. There's a spike there in the back as well as you can see, but luckily also a spike here, <laughs> because that's easier to film. This one has a bit more yellow in it. Sadly, no name for it, but it's also an Ancelia Africana. One of the forms, <laughs> one of the hybrids out there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love it. They take up some size, of course, because they are a very big plant, but once they bloom, they give such a beautiful show. So yeah, that's why this one is uh, temporarily on this uh, little table here. <laughs> because the blooms were everywhere, and this is easier for me, especially when to, when to water them. So I move this a little bit, and I can get in that corner. Um, let's see if I can have a look at uh, Wilbur Chang. Still blooming. It's it's in every video these days. <laughs> Last couple of months, I should say. But look at that. What a beautiful bloom. Oh boy, and the fragrance. Everything you heard about the fragrance, rotting meat, <laughs> it is right. I agree 100%. <laughs> the fragrance is bad, but the bloom. I love it, absolutely beautiful. And I like that lip, that moving lip there. You can see that? Very, very funny. <laughs> so that is my Wilbur Ching. And down there, believe it or not, there's also a spike of the Wilbur Ching. This spike is going over, so I have still two left here on this one. Let's see, do we have more? Not yet, whoops, I'm stuck in the spike, sorry. Luckily, no buds fell off. <laughs> These are still uh, blooming. Those are the new ones. Again, I will have that uh, link in the end of this video. This is one of my Ivanagara apple blossoms. Did have was on an attack of uh, thrips, but now they are done. There's a dead one here on the lip. And this is a very, rare, very rare variety. Um, Where's the tag? Can I get to the tag? Ugh. Let's just put it in the back of that pot. <laughs> of course. Let me try to grab it here. Let me show it against the bloom. Yeah, it's now Jack for for Liara, apple blossom. And this is the Hihi Manu. I keep calling them Iv Ivanagaras, but it's Jack Valeria, officially. But yeah, this one is very, very rare. Let me put a tag there. And then, well, it's about to open up. This is the pink variety. Let me turn it around quickly. There we go. But yeah, it's about to bloom, as you can see. About to bloom. So this is the pink one. And the yellow one is obviously done. It's the golden elf. That one is done blooming. And these are also almost done blooming, but still beautiful. <laughs> Very nice little Cattleya. It's a cross with the Cattleya, why not? 
and I think you can see the resemblance of it. A golden peacock, still one bloom here. Also a beautiful orange color. If you ask me, let me quickly check. No, these are not open yet. These are obviously gone. <laughs> so let's go to the other side of the uh, greenhouse. While well, we crush these beauties. I can't wait to make this video, you guys. Look at these. So beautiful. Just a sneak peek. <laughs> sort of, kind of. <laughs> um, can't stop filming then. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Look at this. This is a very common one, especially in the in Europe. It's not that easy to find, I believe, in, uh, in the States, but this is the Miltonia Sunset. And this bloom is a bit better. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely stunning. If you ask me, this is a must have. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And once it's happy, it's not that easy to grow. And it sounds obvious, but I mean, it's a very, on, yeah, from the Miltonias that I have, I think this is the easiest one to grow. Absolutely beautiful. So that's the Miltonia Sunset. And the rest of Miltonias is, are not in bloom. Some are working on spikes. This is the Festiva. That will in the other, in a, in a new uh, update, I think. Then we have some beautiful blooms. I keep saying it, I know. <laughs> but I mean it, <laughs> with every other orchid. Beautiful blooms on this one. I, I love the colors on this as well. This, I think it's believed Verona. Is this the Verona? Uh, no, it's not. It's Bialara Torero. Torero. That is this one. Then down here, uh, I don't think I ever had it shown on my channel in bloom because the last time it didn't do well with the blooms and it had a few. Now it had two spies going over fairly quickly, at least this one, but luckily this one is doing better. This is a Calante Siboldii. Calante Siboldii. Whoops, I should have done that after filming the blooms, perhaps. But look at that. Let me qu quickly turn the pot around a little bit because I want to show you guys the shape of those blooms with that beautiful yellow color. I hope there we go. Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Yeah, very, very happy. Very pretty. Very, very pretty balloons. So, and then my fires. Most of them are done, but yet we still have a beauty over here. <laughs> my uh, Roy Takanara and Nora Takanara. This is uh, the Roy. These are going over now. Let me quickly check. Yeah, this one is better, I believe. There we go. Look at that. And Nora, where is, where are you? Here is Nora. Beautiful, this one had so many blooms on there. Absolutely beautiful. Some Dendrobium phenolopsis in bloom. Not much. And you can see the blooms are starting to uh, fade, at least on the sides of the blooms, but they've been here for quite a while. <laughs> then we are getting into the nobly section. And before I forget, I just want to mention, I do a video on them one by one, uh, all of them in bloom. So that's maybe next video or the one after that, because I'm waiting on one to be in bloom fully, but I will film them one by one. Look at these amounts of buds. This is the uh, prima donna, by the way. <laughs> and I'm not completely sure which one this is. I have two names for it, but I'm using the first one. I will go over that in the another video as well. But it looks like this one, but yeah. It, uh, officially, it, it will be a no ID because we're not completely sure. But nonetheless, beautiful. 
and then we have the purple one. You can see those are going over now, the blooms, some of them. So that's why I did a bit of pre-filming for the next video. And down here, I don't want to forget this one. I mean, look at that, quite some, some blooms. We have some there, there, and there, and here. This is my Dendrobium Logesiae. Look at that. Stunning, stunning blooms. Beautiful colors on them. And another nobly type. Look at the amount of blooms on this one. This is Dendrobium Rainbow, Rain Dance Rainbow, something, something rainbow, I believe. Let me quickly check. Rainbow Dance, yes, Rainbow Dance. Which, yeah, like I said, look at that. And yes, that in combination <laughs> with the ones in the background. Stardust Firebird. I'm happy with these blooms. Some of them, um, this is the first one I grow. Uh, some of the growers say that they get uh, a pretty uh, big amount of keikis instead of blooms on them very easily. So far, I'm happy. <laughs> this one has a lot of blooms. And maybe you just saw it, we have more blooms here, but also some buds still to come. But it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely. And next to the yellow one, this is the gift from Inter. We even have some more blooms on the yellow one down there. We call it the yellow stardust. I'm not completely sure, but they are very, very similar. Only the color is different, as you can see. But that one has also quite some blooms. But yeah, look at these colors all together. So yeah, I thought I'm going to make a video about this. This is so beautiful these colors. So I will, uh, like I said, go over them one by one. But I'm waiting on this one. This is the last in that section of the video. These are about to open up. So as soon as they do, then I will uh, finish the video. I also had this one. This is my oldest one. And I'm <laughs> in that video, I will go over, uh, over uh, why it's not that big in comparison. But we have some fresh blooms over here, or at least one. This is the uh, Apollon, Dendrobium Apollon. It has a pink on lip. Beautiful fragrance this one has. Absolutely. So yeah, that's a video to come. While well, I try to find my way back. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I'm so, so happy with these guys. Absolutely beautiful. Then up here, still in bloom, but you can see that uh, probably that the color is starting to fade. This is a cross with the Dendrobium Spectabile. And I think that's very obvious if you know the Spectabile. <laughs> but yeah, you, like I said, if you're long on my channel, you can see they, they start to, to get a bit of a brown color instead of that fresh greenish color. But nonetheless, quite some blooms on here. <laughs> it's doing well. And this purple happiness, still happy. <laughs> We have some blooms going over, but believe it or not, it's making a new spike there. So that will uh, be in bloom for, uh, for another while, I believe. And this spike is about to touch the upper shelf. So I need to uh, figure out a plan <laughs> to give it more room. But yeah. So I'm quickly checking. Well, we have only Maxillaria that I did get from Insa. A few blooms left, but most of them did fall off. Ah, uh, leaves today. <laughs> leaves are in the way. Look at that. It's, it's such a beauty. So happy with this gift, Insta. Thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful. And it does very well for me. Really enjoyed it. I had a beautiful uh, uh, display of blooms earlier this year. Absolutely beautiful. So yes, you guys, this is it. I think I filmed them all for now in bloom. And I just wanted to finish with this. This is so beautiful. I am enjoying this so incredibly much. <laughs> I mean, the colors of these fails. 
this makes me smile. I could stand here all day, absolutely all day. But yeah, I need to do my work as well. But I mean, come on, this is beautiful. And then some people just don't like them. And I, okay, it's personal taste, I know. But if I see all of these colors, I just don't understand why you cannot like the fails. They are so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So yes, uh, I'm go not going to take up any more of your time, you guys. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Maybe you want to share it. Maybe uh, I can make uh, uh, quite some people happy with these beautiful flowers. And of course, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.